How much are you going to fill it up with diesel? A little over half. Half with diesel and half the other half with gas? Yep. to be burning we have our drip pot here and our tank of water just in case we need it but right over here we have the grass that we're going to be burning so this is smut grass and it is an invasive grass and right over here you look we have short grass which is our south florida grass which is what the cows like but this is invasive and so we are going to come in here and burn it you could mow it but we are choosing to burn it and when it gets tall and dead like this the cows don't like to eat it but when you burn it and after like four or five days, it'll start coming back up and it'll be green grass and it's really high in protein and the cows really like it. So we're gonna go ahead and burn it. We got our water just in case we need it. We're gonna start here and we have a bunch of different patches. So let's go ahead and get started. Here we have our drip pot and we have 50% diesel and 50% gas in here. We have a cotton wick up here and you'll light this part on fire and you'll dump it over so that that will be full of gas. And then we'll show you how that works in just a minute but we have our water tank here if we're going to be burning a lot we'll have like a tractor with a big tank but for the little bit we're going to be doing today we'll have this and we're just going to be using this to spray our fence lines because we don't want to burn our fences so we'll get that all good and wet right there and then if it goes somewhere where we don't want it to burn we can put that out as well so we have our drip tank and our water here so now i'm gonna walk over here and show you what we have to burn so we are going to take our water tank here and spray these fence lines really, really good and get them all wet so that the fire will go this way and not towards our fence. We have a north wind, so we'll be pushing all that way so it will burn all our smut grass. And then over there on the other side, we have a bunch of like swamp. It's all dried up, but the ground is still wet, so it should put itself out. So it will be all going this way and it's supposed to stop over here where our good grass is. So that's the plan. We're going to start lighting over there by the fence so it can come with our north wind this way. Stop right there for now and let's let that all right go ahead you can go on down a little further go up to that next turn walk faster Now let's walk back and see what we got. Go pull the ranger up here. Let me see that. Go pull the ranger up. We'll be on up up here out of the way. All right, now go.
all the way out to this last piece and then back up. Watch your step. It's wet right there. That one off in the water. All the way. No, just let that go for now. Let's see what we got. to my Etsy account and check them out. And this hat here is our Murray Show Cattle hat that has our brand on it. They are for sale and go to my Etsy account, Murray Show Cattle, and check them out. So for this first patch, it didn't burn as good as we would have hoped, but there's still moisture in the ground and so it's not burning great. But we got this first patch done, so we got a lot more to do. We'll walk you around and show you what it looks like right now. to be lighting this next patch. It's a little bit bigger than the one we just burnt, so we're going to go ahead and light it and see how it burns. We got this little section right here. It's a little bit bigger than the other one we just burnt. So we got a canal on that other side, so we should be good about the fire getting away. We shouldn't have any problems with that. So we're gonna we just lit all around this edge. And it's gonna burn back to that canal. So all the palmettos around that we have were burnt last year, so we wouldn't need to burn them again. Alright guys, so we lit this one little piece right here and it did not burn good at all. But we just ran out of our diesel and gas mixture and our drip pot, so dad just went and filled it back up. But now we're going to try to burn some more. So I talked a little bit about my Etsy account earlier and now that I'm just sitting here kind of letting this burn, I'm going to go on here and talk a little bit more about my Etsy account. So for sale, I have this shirt right here that is just my Murray Show Cow shirt and then I have hats. This is just the black on black, but we have a bunch of different colors that you can go and check out. And they all have a like leather ear tag here with our brand. So you can go and check them out. And we also have a hoodie for sale and we have coffee mugs and stickers. So you can go and check them out and buy some stuff on there. So 
this is the last section that we are going to burn today. So we're going to go ahead and light it on fire and see how it burns. It is the largest section we are burning today and it's also the thickest. So hopefully it burns good. So let's go ahead and see how it does. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up for today. We're pretty much done burning. We're just gonna let this little bit behind me burn. But for the most part, it did good. So we have more burning to do soon. So if you would like to see that, make sure you hit that thumbs up. But we're gonna go ahead and end this video. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe to see more videos like this one. And put a comment if you would like to see more burning videos coming soon. So see you on the next one. Peace out. Also, the items that we used today, like the fire drip pot and the sprayer, I will put in my Amazon storefront. And the link for that will be in the description box, so you go ahead and check it out and get those items.